Okay, um, Tuesday is going to show us how to make ammonia cookies, and then we're going to all enjoy some, and I promise you, this will be a recipe you'll want to try. <laughs> all your ingredients, you need a bag of flour, bag of sugar, because you're going to use four cups of sugar. You need a whole stick of Crisco. You can use lard back whenever they first made them. That's what you use, not the Crisco, but it's just a whole lot easier to use the Crisco. You uh, need measuring spoons, measuring cup, milk and four eggs and you will need one pint of milk which equals two cups you will need lemon oil you can use lemon extract but it's not near as good as lemon oil this you can purchase at williams and sonoma or you can get online and get get it then you get the actual baker's ammonia this you get online you can't just get it in the grocery store so you have to get this online and the first thing you want to do is dissolve it in your milk and so you have three full round tablespoons of your ammonia make sure you level it off even put it in to your mixing cup go ahead and pour your milk in and then you just dip in level it off three times sometimes it's easier to do 12 cups of flour instead of pouring the entire bag of flour in there Put 12 cups in, that way because it's easier to add to flour than it is to try to take it out. So you put all your flour in the bowl, make a well just like you're going to make biscuits. Put in your whole stick of Crisco, four cups of sugar, and then take your hands and just go until you make dough. Then you want to beat your four eggs in another measuring, wherever you want to beat the four eggs. Okay, and then you beat those, pour them in. And then you also put in your milk that has your ammonia dissolved in it. And then go ahead and get your dough really worked together and mixed in and then put your lemon oil in. So that way it goes straight into the dough instead of just releasing into the flour and everything. Then you will spread it out. You can use a um, pastry cloth or just use it on a countertop. And you put out, you'll have a big mound of dough so break it apart into pieces which makes it easier to work with. Mm -hmm. Roll it out, take a real sharp knife, just go across, making them about that wide, and then you want to make them about that long, or if you want them in little squares to make about more what, of them. three to five fine. inches, mm -hmm. about a three to five inch square. And so you just cut them across, then cut them back down, just making a checkerboard, lay them on a baking sheet, and put them in the oven. Your oven's going to vary. We have it at 375 you can put it up to 400 depending on your your oven how mm -hmm. fast it cooks or whatnot when they start to get golden brown pull them out set them on a wire rack and they will store in an airtight container